Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about staying clean inside your minivan, your SUV, um, your high top, your sedan. Okay. Now, there are different ways. I mean, if you really think about it, I could name a whole bunch of different ways that you could uh, stay clean. But one of the main ways that a nomad will stay clean is through Planet Fitness or a gym, um, LA Fitness, things like that. Um, YMCA's yeah but most use Planet Fitness because they're majorly around the nation and they're cheap if you want to get a black card which means that you can use any facility throughout the United States it'll cost you about $27 per month and then there's an annual fee no matter which membership you go with I think it's about $45 approximately it keeps going up um so you know check on that but if you just want to join a gym a planet fitness and you only plan on using one gym you you know the gym that you like to use you it'll cost you ten dollars that'll be your home base but if you do want that black card and there are benefits to it that you can use any gym around the nation here's one little um hiccup in it and some of the cities actually honor that. They actually stick to it. You really, within, I think, a month period, you can only use it nine times, nine or ten times. That's it. So, and I know the, in Cheyenne, Wyoming, they actually made you sign in. And they were kind of like really gruff about it. Well, you can't use this more than ten times. Or, so, so, okay, you know. But... In a lot of cases, they just let it go um, if you want to use another gym longer than that. But here's how I deal with it. When I am in Tucson, I have one gym that I particularly choose. Although right now I am on the black card because there's other benefits to it, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But when I, if, if and when I go up to Flagstaff, there's only one Planet Fitness up there. Why would I want to have, be paying 27 a month as opposed to 10. So when I get to Flagstaff, I will probably bring my membership down. Maybe. Because I do like the other perks of it. One is that you can take, if you have a black card, you can take a, a friend in. One friend and for free. Another perk is that they have the um, other facilities. They have a black card section where they have couches, chairs, usually. I've seen some that don't. but And then they have the hydro massage. They have flat beds, hydro massage, and they have lounges that you kind of sit up, sit upright with. And they have tanning beds and they have uh, different skin. Um, it's like the, the red light thing where it's supposed to be good for your, your skin. I don't use those. I, I'm just not really trusting of them, so I don't use them. But I do use a hydro massage. The hydro massage is this, you lay on um, the, the bed or the lounge. And you turn, when it turns on, you have warm, nice, warm water coming up. And it comes up and it massages you. It goes down to your feet, comes down to, up to your, your shoulders, your area. And you can... Um, determine what kind of pressure you want and how fast you want it to go and you can also um, determine how far up you want it to go you can measure that like you want it to stop here you just bring it down so that the massage stops here and then it goes to, yeah it's really good and it really is um it really works it's very relaxing so planet fitness is i believe the number one gym that nomads use across the nation in America. And I don't know if it's in other nations. If you have, if you're in another country, because I know that I have viewers all over the world, let me know if there's a Planet Fitness. I, I have, I did not even think about that. 
Now, some of you use LA Fitness, and I do believe that they have aqua, aqua, aquatics there. That there's water, there's walking, um, there's a walking river, a water river that you can walk, and you go against the current. It's really good for your muscles. And I think they have a water exercises classes. So, LA Fitness, I believe, I did ask a friend, and she uses LA Fitness, and it's about the same price, about twenty-seven, just for natural, um, just a, a basic membership. So, LA Fitness, right? Well, how else can you stay clean? Here's another um, issue with uh, Planet Fitness: is that they also have like locker room, and they have nice areas where you can put on your makeup, do your hair get dressed. Yeah, that, that's really nice. The gym is a wonderful place to stay clean, stay beautiful, and do all of the, all the things that you need to do, whether it's your nails, doing a, a, mani a manicure, pedicure. Somebody asked me, can you color your hair in the gym? Is that where I do it? Absolutely not. Oh my gosh. I would probably get kicked out forever to color your hair in the gym. They do not allow that. If I'm going to color my hair, I get, uh, I get a hotel room and do it there. That's, that's where I do that. Which comes to the hotel. You can also stay clean in a hotel if you have the extra money, you know? Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to want to take a shower. Just every, You'd have to pretty much get a hotel room every week if you really want to stay clean, clean, clean. So, what would be the other way? Well, if you're camping, there's showers. They usually have shower facilities somewhere in the campground. What about a friend's house? If you're in the city and you, you're, you're near a friend or family member, you can maybe use their places to get showers, wash your hair, really scrub up. But on a regular basis, you kind of want to get clean here. I wash up every night before I go to bed. I mean, it saves your sheets and your pillowcases, right? I get clean right in here. And then what I do is maybe once every two weeks, I will get a shower and wash my hair. I don't like to wash my hair that often anymore because as we get older, we don't um, create as much oil. So things can kind of get dried out. I don't really need to wash my hair that often. So let me show you how I get clean right in here, okay? You know, we got some, but first, now that I mentioned that, I want to... All of a sudden, it just started raining. Oh my gosh. You could see the clouds collecting. And it actually got really chilly. I've got my jacket on because I, I have a sleeveless on. But I kind of put on this, uh, my, um, they call it a bomber jacket. It's really nice. It's just a lightweight kind of um, synthetic material. Yeah, it does have a nice pocket here though. I like that. Okay, so how do I get clean in here? Well, I got me bucket. <laughs> I got me bucket. It is a collapsible bucket. Wash rag. There you go. I got this at Walmart. I had one that I ordered from Amazon way back, but because you're constantly doing that, I ended up getting a little hole where that crease is. But that was over like six years so not too bad this is my bucket got a little handle on it i suppose but yeah this is what i use now when i wash up i really only put fill it about this much that's about it this is strictly for cleaning up i don't do my dishes in here ever yuck <laughs> no this is basically for me getting clean i wash my face every single night Every other day, I might wash up my body, but always my face. And then, you know, the, the, the sensitive, the, the, the critical parts of your body. You know what I mean? The stinky parts. As Sue Ann Carlson said once um, with, um, with Hawa, she did say that. I remember way back, Bob Wells interviewed her. I, I laughed. I always said, she goes, well, I use an alcohol spray on my stinky parts. <laughs> I loved it. So I've got this. What I do is I've got this really nice little package. I keep it up there where my um, passenger seat was. So 
these are critical. I mean, I've got a waste basket and I've got my water jug. This is what I use for water. This is how I carry water. They're the Arizona tea containers. I dumped out the tea, took a few tastes of it. There's a lot of sugar in it and they use corn syrup. Hard to believe still people use corn syrup. But I ended up dumping it out because these are so solid. And I fill these up at Walmart for 36 cents a gallon. Okay? But this is my little package right here. And what I do is I just, I have it parked over there and I just pull the package, right? See? Yeah. That's what I do. That's what I do. I've got this. What do I clean with? Well, I've got a little bit different system because I also wear makeup. So I want to have makeup remover um, and I've got the cloths. Now I could with the washer, I get a lot of it off, but I also wear eye makeup and that really does require, I don't want to be scrubbing my eyes too much. But ladies, you know why, because the, the, the excuse me, I just, <laughs> I know, let me explain, let me explain this. I just ate the best meal at the senior center. It was beef stew, Brussels sprouts. Now, when I first had the Brussels sprouts, it wasn't that great. It was like, they weren't cooked completely done, but today they were mwah, wonderful. And they had a corn muffin and a banana. Was that it? <coughs> yeah. So, so good. So I'm still a little burping just a little bit. Sorry about that. So I've got some more coming. I ordered them from Amazon. These are just makeup cloths. So what I do is I fill this up with water at night. Not fill it up. I fill it up to there. And that's it. I just get this moistened and then I just kind of get it a little foamy. And I wash my face and then I rinse it. This is on the outside. And then I take this, which has already been wet, and I kind of clean my face off one last time because these are claws. And even with these, what I have found is they leave these ever so small little pieces of um, fiber on my face. Yeah. So I make sure I got my washcloth handy put this away which brings me to these these are wipes I get mine at Walmart I use these to wipe after I urinate and especially after number two right I use these some people use these to wash their body and their face I'm just you do what you want to do, but I have mentioned many times. This leaves, and they, it's scientific. They've done, um, like, microscopic and, and, and looked at it. There's these little pieces of fiber all over your body. Who wants that on their body, Who, and especially your face? You know, girls and guys. Guys should be more careful with their faces. Here's my take on this, okay? So, yeah, don't... If you got fiber going on and you're using these... Mm, you might want to rethink it, but with these, I actually end up wiping off with this and getting anything extra off, getting that off. Okay, but you know, the guys today, a lot of the older men are really saying, but a bunch of sissies, a bunch of soy boys, a bunch of sissy boys, but you know what? The younger boys, really younger guys really are taking care of their skin better than, um, than, than the, the fellas of my age group ever did. Yeah, they're actually using sunscreen. They're using moisturizers. They're actually, they're actually taking care of their bodies a little bit more. The, my age group guys really w weren't taught that or that it, wasn't a, it wasn't a cool thing to do. Now it's a cool thing to do. And when these guys get older, they're gonna look a little bit better. They're gonna age a little bit more gracefully. A lot of people say women age, women, men age gracefully, women don't. Not my book. I mean, I don't, I don't think men age so gracefully. 
in, in my age group, uh, I'm not seeing that as a rule. No. What you're doing is you're covering up any imperfections with a bunch of beards. You really are. So we, we women, we can't do that. We can't just cover everything up and grow beards. What we have is what we show, right? And I think, I, you know, I think I see a lot of women, we're aging quite gracefully, that I'm not, maybe something somewhere switched. I really believe that. I think women are aging very gracefully. And I think men nowadays in my age group, not so much. You know, take care of your skin, guys, and it's never too late. We gals, like, I don't know. I talked to my girlfriends. Maybe you let me know. I'm just going to say my opinion and the women that I talked to about it because I've noticed this. What's with all the beards, everybody? My goodness. I mean, it's just a beard upon beard, and some of them are so. In my, in my circle, women say, uh-uh, we don't like them beards. I mean, I'm just saying, guys, might want to rethink the beards, especially if they're so big. What's? I wonder what's in there. <laughs> I do, I do. I mean, I love you guys and everything. We're just, I mean, it's not like I'm going to go out and date all of you guys or anything like that. But just if, if I was even thinking about dating again, I don't know. I wouldn't go with the beard. I really wouldn't. I'm always, I've never was a beard person. Maybe mustache, maybe, but I, I kind of like the, I kind of like the, the clean skin when the, the shaved skin. I like that look. Well, that was long winded, wasn't it? Okay. So I got this and I've washed up with this and I've washed my face and then I've, um, Cleaned it the second time with this. Just giving a good once over with this. Okay. Then what I do is, because this is makeup remover, I don't want to use this. I dump this. Pour a little bit more water in here. And what I use is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil. It kills germs, it refreshes, and you do not have to rinse it off. So when I fill up to about here, I don't use much. Five drops, five drops, it's a dropper. I use five drops of this, yeah. Use this washcloth and I wash up. I start here, I get the stinky parts, <laughs> right, stinky parts. And then um, I end up with my feet, okay. And this is a disinfectant, so you know, and it's going to make your wash rags smell good for the next time. Because I don't use a new washcloth every single day. I keep my washcloths in here. Yeah. I have about four of them. This one I really like. This is like a scrubber. This is like a loofah. So sometimes I actually use this. But I definitely take one of these into the uh, shower at Planet Fitness or the hotel. So I can really get all the dead skin off. Okay. Then what do I do after that? Well, it depends on whether it's night or day. The girls, guys, both, let me clue you in on something. Something new I discovered. Yeah. Castor oil. Mm hmm It's a little... It is organic, certified organic. I believe it is, is used for cosmetic purposes. And I think it's first press. Castor oil is from a tree, a castor, the castor tree, the castor nut. It's very, very thick. Now, I'm not going to tell you all the properties of castor oil. I've been kind of reading about it, but I don't, you know, I'm going to let you discover this. Look it up for cosmetic purposes. It is fabulous for your, for your skin. Fabulous. And so I've been using this. They said that after a while, you'll see a difference. I've been using it for about two weeks now. I do have some makeup on. I got some concealer on and some blush. Yeah. So, um. I got my mirror. If I look over there, it's because I got my mirror right there. How do I look? Okay. And I can do my face in the morning and I can wash up and I got my mirror right there so I can sit here, watch a show. I've got this 
propped up here, watch a program and do all my stuff. I actually take my time. I just sit here and I chill out. I actually enjoy it at night, especially at night. And in the morning, I enjoy it just the same because I'm watching maybe a program. Um, sometimes lately I've been watching, like in the morning, I watch Joyce Myers. And at night I might be watching a program, a series. I'm into series right now. I just got done with a Survivor series. And before that, an old big brother, I, I watched a long time ago, but it was fascinating. I love reality shows. Right now, I'm not so much into movies right now. I'm in more into like series. If I can get a good series going, I know I've got something to watch every night while I'm getting ready. And I don't have to think about it. I just move on to the next episode, episode 10 or episode 12. Do you hear the rain? It's really looking peak it out there, folks. Let's see. Yeah, let me move this. Pretty dark. For Arizona in the afternoon, it's pretty dark looking out there. I did get some more of these lights. And I think I'll show them to, to you tomorrow. I really like them because... There's a page, uh, it's USB, yeah. I'm going to give my other ones to a friend of mine. And, uh, yeah. Because she has a house. And she can, um, you know, plug them in. Let's see. And these lights really come, they come with a. Oh, let's see what I got. There we go. Okay. I really like them. I've got one up there and one up here. I'm really getting used to what lighting works in this place, in my home. This is my minivan, and I know I'm, I'm waited a long time to tell you, but just in case you didn't know, I'm Minivan Lee, and I've lived in my minivan for a long time. Long time, I have um, seven years. Seven years of Nomad, yeah. And uh, always been a minivan, and people say, well, would you go with something else? And I say, probably not. I like my minivan. So in the morning, morning and night what I do is after I wash my face wash my face I put a little bit it's very thick you need to add something else to it um, if it's in the morning or it, I mean if it's at night I might add it to some organic rose hip oil this is a little bit runnier and then I can kind of put it on a lot of times I use retinol A first and then put on the oils. Now in the morning, in the morning, what I do is I mix the castor oil with some hyaluronic acid lotion, okay? And I mix them together in my hand, put it on, I put it on my hands. Um, it says that the castor oil is going to take away some of the I bumped my I bumped my hand really hard the other day, I guess. But this one looks a lot better, I think. So I'm wondering if the castor oil isn't working. But you need to Google it, okay? You Google that. Say castor oil for 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 cosmetics and see what it says. You're gonna find a whole bunch. Then what do I do after that? Oh yeah. It's summertime and I've been walking outside more. You must take care of your face. Okay, so that's how I stay clean. Now, there are times where if I just want to wash out quickly, a little bit of this on my washcloth, maybe a little, add it to a little water, wring it out, and do those parts that are stinky. Okay, right. Yeah, I mean, you can do that. But every morning and every evening, I definitely pamper my face because that's what sticks out the most, right? I mean, yeah, it's been sticking out there for years and we need to, we women, we want to, we're aging more gracefully these days, aren't we girls? I think we are. I think that old adage that all, you know, men age gracefully. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not seeing it too much. Um, so that is how I stay clean. 
Now, what do I do with the water? Where do I dump this water? You say, I say, well, then I get clean water. I dump this into my pee bottle. I do. And then in the morning, I, I empty it out. But any excess water from morning, excuse me, <laughs> my lunch, morning or even, evening goes in. That's where I, it's, it's sort of like my holding tank of waste. Yeah, is my pee bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm, I'm not done. I'm not done. So hang on. Don't go anywhere. My teeth. I keep my toothbrush and I keep my uh, toothpaste in here. Yeah. But also what I've been doing recently is brushing my teeth. Also, I do both with baking soda. And I've been brushing it to get to kind of whiten them up just a little bit more because of the coffee. I don't smoke or anything like that. But the coffee can really kind of make them brown over time. So I've been using uh, the, the baking soda too. Now, how do I do it? How do I spit out? What am I doing with that? Well, that's why I have this. I have it handy. <laughs> yeah, and when I need to rinse off, I use this. Take a drink, swish it around, spit, okay? And then a lot of times towards the end, just so I don't make a mess, I get a drink of water, I stick my toothbrush in there, and I'm kind of almost cleaning it with my toothbrush. It might sound gross. It might sound like, well, that's not enough. Well, I don't want to be pouring water in here. I don't have a sink. So this is my best bet. Yes. Then what I've got is um, like this. Yeah, it's an oral rinse. I don't use, I stopped using um, mouthwash and I'm going with this. Same thing. Sometimes pe people have told me that that mouthwash really kind of eats away at your teeth. It's not good for them. So I'm using this now. Yeah. And I really swish, swish, swish. I'm huge. I'm a huge flosser. Oh my gosh. I usually floss, floss first. Then I brush. A lot of times what I do is I brush first with the baking soda. Rinse. Then I use toothpaste. Rinse. Then this. I know. I, I just trying to take care of things. I got the time. I'm just sitting here watching a program. But I'm a major flosser. Major. I'm a major flosser. Yeah, I even carry a floss with me in my little, that little bag that I hang right here. Because if I go to a restaurant and there's something in my teeth, it will drive me insane. So a lot of times I go into the restroom and I floss and rinse. Yeah. Well, I think we got it covered. I covered my body. I actually use this on my body too. Yeah. Um... What else? I do believe that's it for cleansing my, my body. Um, I have a shower bag in the back area in my garage. That way, when I'm gonna go into Planet Fitness, I just open up my hatch, grab all of that. I've got clean towels, washcloth, hair towel. I've got a five microfiber small hair towel. And um, yeah, when I go into Planet Fitness to the gym, I take that bag and then I take my, um, Uh, my tackle box, it eluded me. My tackle box, I take that in. When I do my face, what I do is I have this and I pull my hair all the way back to get it all out of my way. Protect my hair. Yeah, then I can do it. Um, but that's what I do. Now, this is what I do. This is what you can do. It's not complicated. It couldn't be more simple. It's, just, it's my, I like to go simple. I'm a simple girl. I'm a minimalist girl, but I have seen people that live in, in minivans or um, high tops where they have this one thing where they pull a curtain and down below that it's like a makeshift shower. Dude, no, <laughs> that sounds like more work than it's ever, that it could possibly be worth. There are showers at Planet Fitness or LA Fitness 
or a hotel. Now for you boondockers, you might have a shower tent. You can do that. I mean, that's no big deal. Do a shower tent. If you want all those fancy things like actually having a shower inside of your, and then you have to put, take it all apart and dry it. I don't even know. Um, it sounds like too much work for me. So if you want to go that route and you don't mind that big, but for me, I spend a lot of my time making these things for you. That means filming and editing and organizing. Yeah. Um, I don't have time for all of that. And it's not that I want to do it anyways. My joy is doing what I do. I do what I do because I love it. You know, I do. Um, you say, oh, your your videos are so good. Um, sometimes they're really good. Sometimes they are. I did have a question. I would really like to answer it. If you don't mind, do you mind? If we go on just a little bit longer, because I loved it. This is from OJ Taylor. Hi, Lee. I've been watching for four years, and I love your content. I love this. Thank you. Um Let's get up here. Okay. It's clear that your videos are well thought out and edited. Thank you for noticing. They're not all of them that way. Sometimes I do have to kind of like make it a little bit quicker. Then, um, let me, this is a little bit there. I do sometimes have to make them a little bit uh, quicker because um, I might have something going on this day you know, or something like that, where I do have other things to do, so I won't be as fancy schmancy about it, right? She says, I get the impression that you do a lot of filming daily, and that you spend a long time making your daily videos. I do. That's why I say, if you want to support me, it really does help if you maybe go on um, minivanlee.com, and I've got gifts on there. Even $5 every once in a while would be so cool. Because it does, um, it does support me to make, well, I'm doing what I love to do and I just love to do it. And obviously you all seem to like it too. Question, how are you doing on work-life balance? Is all of your life a film opportunity? Are you on your phone at restaurants, the gym and other places? In, in some cases, yeah, whatever I, I, what I try to do is film what I do. So that I can show you this is what the life, this is the true life of what, what um, van life is for the bulk of us. We're in the city. This is what I do. And I want to show y'all what I do so that you can realize, well, I can do that too. If I, if I have to, if I want to, and if I have to, some of us have to do it. And it's coming up, I think, for a, a bulk of us. Uh, ladies, older ladies that well, we just can't survive with the way prices are going up. And it says, how am I doing on my work-life balance? I'm really doing well. I really am. Like I said, I spent time to go to the senior center and I had some socialization and I ate lunch. And this morning I went to my favorite restaurant and saw my favorite friend, Connie. And I actually sat at the counter and we, and when she was up there kind of doing things and I ended up talking to almost all of the um, waitresses. So they're getting to know me better there. So that was a lot of fun. And uh, no, I, I do balance out and then I get to spend a lot of time by myself, which I love. I, I crave spending time alone. I really do. I love it. So I think it is pretty balanced. And then in the morning I do the gym, but now I'm making friends at the gym. How am I ever going to leave Tucson? I love it here. And then, yeah. And then, what do you really do for downtime? Well, I watch a program. That's about the best I can do. I don't read books. No. Um, for downtime, I sleep. <laughs> I sleep. For downtime, I'm usually watching a program. Or looking things up. You know what I do sometimes for downtime is I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling on reels and shorts just to see what's out there. Yeah. Many YouTubers burn out. Nah, not me. How do you deal with the daily pressure of work for my videos? Nah. 
Um, if I really do feel pressured, I take a day off and then I'm raring to go the next day. So thank you for that. I really appreciate that. And now I'm going to let you go. Thanks for watching it all the way through. This is a longie, isn't it? It's a long one. So go to minivanlee.com if you want to give me a gift or if you want to buy my neck. It, it all supports me. I get 100% of everything on my website because it's my website. I don't take a, I don't take a commission out. If I do, I get it, right? It's all my, it's all mine. Thank you so much. Um, and also please subscribe. Okay. Roof, roof. I know I feel like a doggy. <laughs> okay. She's losing it. Well, that's how I spend my time. I'm just being goofy. Okay. I love you. I love you guys. Stay clean. And tomorrow we'll have something also about the ba a basic van life. Got it? Got it? <laughs> Bye. Mwah.